I'm gonna go to bed now because we will be getting up at 3 o'clock tomorrow morning and leaving at 3.30 to drive to SUNY ESF. It's gonna be fun. I'm currently not sad or nervous at all, but I think it might be different tomorrow. Yeah, we're about to leave. This is gonna be the last time I see my house for like three months, so... Yeah, I'm actually not feeling super emotional for some reason. I have a feeling that it'll happen more later. I'm also not nervous at all, and it's so weird because I get so anxious before big things happen. And yeah, I'm not at all, so... Are you feeling emotional right now? A little bit. Mostly tired, but... Yeah, it's kind of too early for emotions at this point. Do you think you'll cry? Yes. <laughs> Probably on the way home. This is Centennial Hall. We're the first ones here. finished unloading everything and now my parents are gonna go grocery shopping and I'm gonna work on unpacking so I did notice a lot of damage in here so I have to report that to maintenance like you can see here there's like a tear in the drywall and there's like like here too there's lots of stuff so let me show you guys the area quickly and even the view and everything so I'll give you guys a quick empty dorm tour and then I can show you guys also when I finish, so. When you first come in, the bathroom is right here and as you can see, that is broken and the mirror is there, so hello. <laughs> okay, um, and there's my kitchenette. It has two, two burners as you can see, microwave, refrigerator which has dents in it. Uh, the table's here. My roommate's room is right there and she'll be moving in tomorrow. And then this is my room. So my dad set up my TV and Xbox. Shout out to my dad, thank you. <laughs> and Gilmore Girls is there, I'm gonna be watching it tonight. I've watched the show two times already, but I'm gonna start at the college, during the college seasons and rewatch it. So here's my closet. I actually didn't expect there to be a door for some reason. I thought it would just be like a small area, but it's actually big. And there's space under here, so I have under the bed containers and there's this other dresser I could pull out if I needed it. Let me show you guys the view quickly. It's actually like a really, because it's in Syracuse and it's a city, it's a very city type view, but I, it actually looks so cool. So here are the things that they leave in the dorms. So there's an envelope that has my name on it. Okay, it's a thing from my RA. Cool, thank you for welcoming me. <laughs> this has a hammock in it, I heard, or something like that. A coffee travel mug thing. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh my gosh, it's like these sticky note notebook thing with a pen and stick it. <laughs> it's so cool, oh my gosh, I love this. And then there's this sticker, and then there's also a tote bag that says Centennial Hall. So heavy and full. Are you guys okay? <laughs> okay, so I filled the bottom drawer. I emptied out the suitcase all the way. The other things are on the floor right now. I need to put some things in the top drawer and then hang the other ones. So I'm gonna do that now. Yay, it's actually really fun for some reason. up everything that I can. It turns out that I need more hangers, so I had to text my mom and she's gonna pick up some more when they're at the store. I forgot that my dad put stuff for the Xbox in this drawer, so I'm gonna have barely any room and I have lots of jeans, lots of shirts. Okay, so I just finished filling the top drawer with lots of different stuff like my wireless headphones, books, some hats, kind of some random stuff that I have, but um, I think it's kind of a good place for it all. And now I'm going to add my stuff to the bed. 
Okay guys, so as you can see, my bed is done for now anyway. I have a lot more to do though. My parents still haven't gotten back yet. So it is, I think around lunchtime. It's 11.42. So we've been here since eight. So we've been here for almost four hours. Okay, I'll show you guys what I've done. The desk is nice right now. I have this organized and my lamp is connected to my um, my smart outlet thing so I can have my Echo Dot, which is right there. Turn it on and off just by telling it to. Got my baby Groot with a cactus. I have this little thing, which I'm gonna be changing out uh, depending on seasons and stuff like that from my aunt. Shout out to my aunt. And then the bed obviously still has lots of stuff on it that I have to do. And then I have lots of kitchen stuff over here that I still have to go through. So there is lots more to do, but I've done a lot and I'm pretty happy with it. My parents just left. I don't know how I feel right now. What in the world? I have stuff I have to do that'll help distract me from this weird emotion that's taking over. So it has been about half an hour and I think I was just struck by the realization that I'm now in college. <laughs> what? I have to go to campus police to register my bike. So I just got back, um, a friend of mine helped me out with going to register my bike, but we didn't end up having that. I had to be added to some list and then have my bike be in a temporary place. It's actually starting to look pretty nice in here. Like I have almost everything put away. Okay guys, so I'm gonna film a quick end of the day clip to conclude this video. Uh, it was a crazy day. It's been such a long day because I've been up for 22 hours. It is 10 something. I think it's like, it's like 10.30 and I woke up at 12.30. Yeah, I got back from an orientation thing around nine. It was really fun. We went out and people had ice cream and we met our orientation leaders and groups and stuff like that. So that was great. Everybody was watching a movie, but I decided to go back to my dorm because I didn't bring bug spray and I was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. I'm gonna end the video here, but I'm definitely gonna be doing a first day of school vlog, which I'm so excited and nervous about at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Goodbye.